Hey guys, what's going on today? I wanted to give you guys a tutorial on how to do the reverse pendulum serve. This is one of the most effective serves in table tennis. For myself, whenever I've had really, really good wins, in fact, my best wins recently have come off of the reverse pendulum serve. So really good serve to know um, and pretty easy to know, um, pretty easy to learn if you already have decent feeling. So let's get straight into the tutorial. All right, so I'm first gonna go over the contact point of this serve and then I'm gonna go over how you should be standing and the actual mechanics of the serve itself. So there's two, of, of course, just like with any pendulum type of action, there's pretty much an infinite um, amount of contact points and different variations you can put on the serve. But I'm just gonna be covering the two basic ones, which are um, underspin with a little bit of side spin and top spin with a little bit of side spin and show the two contact points for those. So for the underspin serve, your contact point you're gonna come around is gonna be right here. So your paddle is almost completely rotating and then you're basically leading with the wrong side of your paddle and then hitting the ball right here. Normally with your pendulum serve, if you say this is the left side of your paddle and this is the right side of your paddle, you lead with the left side of your paddle and hit the ball here. For the reverse pendulum, you're leading with the right side of the paddle. That's why it's called a reverse. So you're bringing the paddle up, pulling it down, leading with the right side of the paddle. This is your contact point for underspin. And of course it does have some side spin as well. So it's gonna pull to my left or from your perspective to the right. Now the top spin contact point is actually much easier than the underspin contact point, but they are quite similar. Again, you're going to be leading with the wrong side of your paddle, so the right side of your paddle. You're going to pull up, come down, lead with the right side of your paddle, but unlike the underspin one, where you're kind of pulling straight through the ball, for the topspin one, you're going to pull slightly more at an angle, slightly more diagonal, and a little bit up. So for the topspin version, it's still going to have some side spin, but you're going to hit it here. And that's topspin with some side spin. So that's top spin, top spin, and then under spin, pulling all the way through. So again, top spin, under spin. Let me do a few more just so you can see the difference. Now, I'm not doing the full action right now. I'm just showing the contact point. I'm going to go over the action in a second. So these are not as spinny as they should be, but top spin, top side, under spin. Top spin, under spin, top spin. Okay, now let's go over some fundamental things about the action of the serve that you need to make sure you're doing. Of course, the full action itself um, is kind of up to you. Everyone's action when they do the serve is slightly different, but there's some fundamental things everybody does that you need to make sure you're doing to ensure not only that your serve is maximum quality, but that you're ready to play off of your serve. Um, the first one, and this is probably the biggest mistake I see um, when people do this serve, is kind of how they position themselves. You want to make sure that once you're done hitting the serve, you're not just leaning like this, kind of off balance. I see a lot of people try to do this serve, and they kind of twist their body after, but their legs don't follow. Make sure that once you're done hitting the ball on this serve, your right leg comes around, and you're in ready position. This does a few things, of course, it helps you cover every angle so you're ready to play off the serve, but it also allows you to play pretty much every angle much easier and allows you to come all the way under the ball for maximum underspin. To swing your leg around, you want to make sure with your pre-action that your right leg is going back a little bit. So what you'll see most players do when they do the serve is set up as they go up with the paddle the right leg goes back, they toss the ball, paddle comes back, right leg swings forwards as they're doing the action. And then they're automatically in ready position once they're done hitting the serve. You don't necessarily have to pull the right leg back. You could also technically start with the right leg back a little bit or start with it almost even and then just do the serve and swing around. But the key point, the important idea, is that after you make contact with the ball, this right leg is not staying here. You're not leaning 
you're coming all the way around into ready position. And it might seem obvious to uh, most of you guys, but I've seen a lot of people not doing this, which is why I mentioned it. The next thing that is pretty fundamental about this serve is the way that you pull your elbow and your wrist back to generate torque. What most players will do, not all but most, is pull their paddle up, then with the elbow as the pivot point, pull it back. And then once it's back here, come forwards through the ball. You can also do this without coming up first. So you could just start, pull back, and then pull forwards. But the important thing is to make sure your elbow is up. Your elbow is the pivot point along with your wrist. Your paddle pulls back along that pivot point to generate torque kind of into your body. And then it accelerates forwards to get your spin. You don't want to try and do this serve kind of just with your wrist. I've seen a lot of people think that, oh, it's all wrist. I don't need to use my elbow at all. And they kind of just stand and they try to do the serve like this. This is an awkward angle. Um, it's not efficient. Make sure you're using your elbow and also, of course, as I mentioned before, your body to get the full effect on this serve. Okay, before I go into um, kind of putting everything together and showing you my full action, um, I want to give you guys some tips if you're struggling. First, if you're struggling to do this serve at all, master the topspin version before you master the underspin version. The topspin timing is much easier because you don't need to come all the way around to the ball. You can take it um, at a slightly less extreme angle. So master the timing on the topspin and the sidespin um, first, and then once you've mastered that, then try to do the underspin. But if you're just learning this serve, don't try to do the underspin straight away because it's an extremely difficult timing until you're used to it. One other tip, if your timing is off, like maybe your ball, you just can't hit it right, it's like bouncing, or even you're trying to do the serve and you're just swinging and missing, then chances are you're swinging too early or your action is finishing too early. Make sure that once you toss the ball, you let it drop. And as you let it drop, you're not going to the ball. With a normal serve, and this is why the reverse is pretty hard to learn, with a normal serve, you toss the ball. As it drops, your paddle's kind of whoops, um, going to meet the ball. With the reverse, it's a little bit different. As the ball drops, all the steps of the serve kind of happen at once. You toss the ball, as it drops, you pull away from the ball back first, then you try to make contact with the ball. You don't want to go straight for the ball after you toss it. It's going to lead to swings and misses and awkward hits like that. If you're doing the whole thing right and you're still swinging and missing, chances are you're just rushing the action and you're going too early. Make sure that you take your time. The ball's not falling at 100 miles an hour. Let it come to you and then do the action. Okay, so those are all of my tips for how to do the reverse pendulum surf. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, um, especially if they're like regarding certain aspects of the surf, I'll be happy to help you. Um, so to finish up, I'm just gonna show some videos from different angles, um, both in normal speed and in slow motion of my mechanics for the surf. And I'm gonna kind of like freeze it at certain times so you can see what I'm doing and hopefully that should also help you to master this serve. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Uh, my video schedule is kind of weird right now because of quarantine, but hopefully I should be uploading a lot more in the future. Uh, without all of the way, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Adios.